Like, so, you know, the Army wrestles with these, I, the problem of suicide. And I came to understand it in a different light than I had before. And I work in the Center for Army Leadership, so, you know, these ideas of resilience and so on are written into our leadership doctrine. We at Cal write that doctrine. These, they're, they're all concepts that I'm pretty familiar with in my professional life. But I never uh, thought about resilience and the state of mind of someone who's committed, who, who might commit suicide in the same way as I was able to at, at that point, and as I can now. And I think a, a big element in it is you know, that sense of purpose. You know, why do I do the things I do? And you know, when you make the decision to, to marry someone, you know, you dedicate your life to them. And over a period of time, uh, you know, you really do become, at least I was fortunate in my relationship with my wife, to become like one entity. And, uh, you know, when she was taken, then it was like I was just cleaved in half. I mean, I was really suffering. Uh, I did go to counseling. Uh, on somebody's advice, you know, on the advice of a close friend. I did uh, see a psychologist, and she mostly just listened and affirmed that I was okay, you know, that I wasn't uh, uh, too different from everybody else in the way I was reacting to this. So, 